After intense political pressure on the issue of illegal immigration, President Obama says he's sending National Guard troops to the border. Are they going to be enough? Well, some members of Congress yeah. say that's only a beginning, and America will have to do more to secure its border. Paul Strand has the story. Trying to head off a plan by some Republicans to require 6,000 National Guard troops along the border, President Obama is ordering 1,200 to be deployed and is asking for $500 million to beef up border security. The president has been under pressure to do something since Arizona passed its new law cracking down on illegal immigration. I'm elated. Uh, this is great news, but it's about time. Arizonans say they've been forced to take action on their own because the federal government hasn't been doing enough about rampant illegal activity along the border. It is a recognition of the violence on the border. And that is the violent crime fomented by the criminal drug cartels. Arizona officials say Obama's plan helps, but much more is needed. 1,200 troops means just one more person for every mile and a half of border. You've got a serious criminal opponent, treat them that way. Treat them the way they treated the mafia in the 20s. We need more agents. We need more money to secure cities as well as the border. Many Republicans have been backing Arizona's crackdown, and it may be smart politics. A new poll from NBC News shows 61 percent of Americans support the Arizona law. Some of those supporters were out protesting at City Hall in Los Angeles. The L.A. City Council has voted to economically boycott Arizona till the state repeals its new immigration law. This is political hackery at its finest, and the people of Los Angeles won't stand for it. All colors, all creeds, all sexes, we're not going to stand for it. We want a safe, lawful uh, Los Angeles. We believe in a safe and lawful Arizona. We believe in strong borders, and we believe in a strong America. Paul Strand, CBN News, the White House. You never would have thought that America was going to be invaded, but it's the drug cartels, it's criminal elements that are causing the problem, and the people of Arizona have a right to defend themselves, but it actually needs to be federal action that's, that does it, because we can't just have every state setting up its own little uh, uh, police department to check immigration. That's a federal matter, but the feds haven't been doing their job. And what the president is suggesting, 1,500 troops, it's a drop in the bucket. They need at least 6,000 or more, and they need authority to do something. So that hasn't happened yet, and this is kind of like a fig leaf to cover over a major problem. Well, Lee Webb has the rest of our top stories from the CBN Newsroom. Lee? Pat, Republicans are drafting a new plan to win back the House of Representatives. They're calling it America Speaking Out. It's similar to the contract with America that fueled a GOP takeover of the House in 1994. They want to shed the party of no label. The new plan is not a GOP platform. Instead, they're asking Americans to log onto a website and submit policy ideas. Those ideas will be discussed and eventually put into the GOP election year agenda. Rivka Berry, the Christian teenager who ran away from her Muslim parents, has been diagnosed with uterine cancer. Friends say the 17-year-old has already had two operations and will undergo a third tomorrow. Barry has been living with a foster family in Ohio since last fall. She fled to Florida last summer, claiming her parents threatened to kill her for becoming a Christian. She turns 18 in August, and she's asking people to pray for her healing. The U.S. government's AAA credit rating is stable. For now, according to Moody's Investor Service. But the agency warns that America's heavy debt and record spending could pose a risk to that high rating. It says Washington needs to cut its enormous budget deficits. That could mean higher taxes, spending cuts, or both in the years ahead. Pat? Well, it's a somber warning. It's one that we've been sending out for some time. We cannot sustain the uh, reckless spending that's been going on in Washington. And yet it's going on again. They've still got more budget proposals to spend more money. And uh, they're not really concerned about how they're going to pay for it. It's a very serious matter uh, when you lose your AAA credit rating for a country the size of America. You know, it's one thing to bail out Greece, which is a tiny little country. America's too big to bail out. That's very serious.